Hey Taurus, what's up? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for February 2021. We're going to see what's happening for you in love. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a general love reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. The link is in the description box. You can also purchase a reading on my Etsy shop as well as some oracle decks, um, some other spiritual gifts and goodies like mood rings and stuff like that. So check it out. Follow me at Instagram. Um, thank you all for your love and support for what I do for my channel and helping me reach 75,000 subscribers. I am so appreciative. All right, so let's jump right into your reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watches, you're welcome. You know what? I'm going to start with some oracle, okay? I'm going to use the sacred signs and symbols. This is found on my Etsy shop. Let's see what's happening. This is the shuffles in. What is going on with Taurus in love? Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. All right, we have tools. Fix, repair, rebuild, construction. Someone wants to repair something here with you. There's some something here that may have fallen apart. There could have been some damage done in this connection, whoever you're thinking about. Um, and there's something here that someone now wants to build up, wants to repair, wants to put it back together. There's some kind of structure. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who's very good with their hands. All right, but there's a need to repair something here, this connection. Um, we also have the chameleon. So whoever this is, they're kind of incognito right now. They're kind of blending in. This is someone who may not want to show their face to you right now, okay? I do feel like there's a situation here where you had to adapt to the environment, just adapt for whatever. If this person wasn't, like, taking some action toward you, you just had to just move on with it, okay? So that adaptation could have been your energy, Taurus, okay? And that's kind of what you do. You're an earth energy. You kind of, um, you're, you stay grounded, right? You, you ground yourself. So there could be a situation here where you had to just go with the flow of something. You just had to adapt. You know, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? That kind of energy. <laughs> what else do we need to know? We do got the camera energy, nostalgia. All right, replaying um, old memories. Someone may be looking at your pictures, Taurus. It's kind of like that page of swords energy. There could be someone watching you from afar or from a distance. Maybe looking at your social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook. But they're definitely, um, there's some energy, there's some thinking, reflecting of a past situation. Maybe they did something to destroy it. Maybe right now things are on rocky ground. Okay, the screws have come off and now your person wants to rebuild and build something back together, some kind of construction. Let's get two more and then I'm going to hop into your reading. We got the match flame to be continued, some kind of resurrection here, reignition. So someone here may want some kind of beginning here with you, all right? Taurus, it could be... um. It could be someone that you've dated for a very long time in the past, or it could be someone like a newer connection. Maybe you guys have just been in and out, um, but this is something here that has not died, okay? This match flame is confirming that something here is still, still burning, okay? There could be a burning desire for someone to be with you or to reach out. They're watching you from a distance. They're blending in. They're not speaking. They're incognito, but they do want to re repair something. All right, one more energy, one more card. Let's see what we got. The hawk. Keen eyesight observation watching. Wow, what is going on with this person? They are sneaky. This is someone who's watching you again, Taurus. We got the camera energy, nostalgia, looking at old pictures, but they're also watching you, okay? Observing, assessing the situation, maybe seeing, well, what can I do about the situation? What can I, what do I do? Should I wait? Should I come in? All right, let's see, Taurus, that's for you. Let's see what's going on with my Taurus out there for February 2021. I am not going to extend this reading for time's sake. But I will come back in a few days and do your extended reading, okay, for February. All right, what does Taurus need to know about whoever they're dealing with? Clear messages here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three of Wands, a reverse could be a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. There's something here that wasn't moving forward, okay, or someone wasn't picking a direction, um, I feel like whoever this person is was taking their slow time and you were waiting on them. I'm getting a waiting game, okay? And I feel that 
some of you guys have been waiting too long and you stopped waiting because there's a situation here where you felt like maybe you guys were just tired you would no longer put an effort yeah tired nine of wands see Ah, oh, Taurus, whoever you're dealing with, I feel like you were fighting for this. You were fighting for their attention, for their love. You were putting an energy and effort into making this move forward. And I feel like whoever this person is, they weren't doing their share. And you felt like you were waiting for them to finally put more effort into it and it never happened. But I do feel like there's an energy of someone still wanting to fight for this in some way or some form. I do feel like in the past, if there was a third party, this person may be making a decision to walk away from a third party in order to come towards you okay let's see what happened in the past with taurus and this person yeah you guys had the potential for something very beautiful the four wands came out typically this is a soulmate card i mean i do feel like at one point you thought this person would be like your your person that you would you know move forward with commit marriage okay the four of wands is a very beautiful um card in the reverse is telling me that something would just fell apart um you guys were not able to get there to that point of um maybe engagement or commitment or you know and i do feel like if you guys had that together if you guys had some kind of commitment marriage that could have certainly had came to an end recently okay or long, long standing relationship and i feel like there's been a lack of harmony and balance between you guys Maybe you guys are just not on the same page right now. Yeah, you had to drop the, some burdens here. There was something here that was getting too heavy. And I feel like you, were, you had a lot of worries about this connection. You were holding on to a lot of uh, emotional burdens and maybe even resentment. Okay, And you guys had to just let it go. Something just wasn't moving forward here. And it just, we got all these damn wands. It's a lot of fire here. Whoever you guys dealing with, it could be a fire sign or someone with a lot of fire in their chart or comes off as very passionate, but maybe that's it. Okay, we do got the fire energy here with the match flame. Now, Taurus, what's on your mind regarding this person? Ooh, three of pentacles in reverse. So that's your energy, Taurus. See what I mean? You guys felt like there was potential, but you feel like you and your person are not aligning. You're not on the same page with something. Like there's something that's not clicking. Um, or you may feel like the things that you're looking for in life right now, this person isn't looking for the same thing. So there is something here that's keeping you guys at a distance. Now, let's see what's happening with your person in their environment. We got the chariot, cancer energy. Could be a cancer that you're connecting with. What else do we need to know? They're moving forward towards something here. Ooh, ace of wands with the temperance in reverse. So what I'm seeing is that your person is definitely emotionally... Um, taking a toll now i do feel like if you pulled back taurus your person is certainly feeling that um i do feel like they may be lacking balance in their life right now without you and they do want this new start okay we do have um the reignition right the match flame and that's kind of what this ace of wands is about something is to be continued there's something here that's not entirely done just yet so there's some kind of new beginning coming in or your person once a new beginning now you may not want this <laughs> taurus right but there is an energy of someone wanting to have some kind of start here okay um the chariot even moving forward towards you very quickly um uh, maybe after a period of taking a step back because it has been a lot of you know i'm getting quiet energy right someone kind of assessing um not really reaching out maybe you guys haven't really been communicating much back and forth and i do feel like your person was taking the time to find themselves to balance their emotions maybe get something straight about how they really feel about you before they come in okay but this is definitely someone who is feeling like antsy to come towards you right now okay i do feel like there's some anxiety um maybe even nervousness and coming towards you for this new beginning but what i'm seeing is they definitely want a new beginning have something not after something not being able to move forward in the past so let's see what's coming in in the near future here with taurus and this person please Let's take them both. Okay. So, yeah, I do feel like some of you guys, um, there's a ten of swords here, okay, in the, in the death. So, I do feel like if you guys have gone through some kind of betrayal, okay, in the past, maybe you guys felt like this was really just you had to close out this cycle with this person. There is some kind of change here, okay? The death is signifying transformation of some sort. Um, Got scorpion energy here. But I do feel like... You guys looked at this situation as something here you had to avoid and let go. Um, but I do see some kind of change taking place. We do got the chariot. We do got the death. That's all about change here. 
Um, let's see how this plays out, and then I'm gonna get some clarifiers. Let's get the outcome here for Taurus. Oh, it may be a decision that you guys have to make. The Two of Swords was trying to come out. Any other messages here for Taurus and their person? Cross watches are welcome. You know that. You do got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So it could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius coming towards you, Taurus. But ultimately, there is there's some clashing here. Okay, I will say that I do got we got two. You get two core cards and both of them are coming toward each other. Taurus, you could be one of these energies, okay? You could be certainly wanting the truth from this person, wanting clarity. You may want to know, well, what are their intentions? What do they really desire? And wanting to cut out any BS because some of you guys, you feel like this person was very immature, okay? They're very impulsive and that Knight of Swords can certainly be that person's energy. And I feel with that Knight of Swords, your person is definitely wanting to come toward you um, hold on to say something. Okay. There's something, some kind of truth here. Okay. Um, and I think you guys may have some kind of conversation coming into the moment. Okay. There's going to be, um, I'm getting some kind of chat or just, uh, a conversation between you guys to kind of air out something or even clean the air about some kind of betrayal or some kind of hurt that someone has experienced with regard to this connection in the past. Okay. So I do feel like that's coming. There's communication coming for sure. Let's see. And I do feel a very strong, impulsive energy with your person. We got the chariot. We got the <laughs> knight of swords. They're coming in very, very quickly towards you, Taurus. And I think the reason is because they know they haven't really done much. Okay, they know that they've been quiet. Things have been dormant. Things have been stagnant. But the ultimate goal is to have some kind of resurrection, right? And, re and repair something here. So let's see. Why is the three of wands with the nine of wands, please? Again, some of you guys, I don't feel strong third party, but we do got the three of pentacles and the three of wands here. So it could be a third party, but I don't feel like that third party was, yeah, I don't think they were interested in that situation here. We do got the four of cups. So if your person was dealing with another um, individual, okay, um, had a love, another love interest, I do feel like that person wasn't truly interested, okay? Um, I do feel like there could have been a rejection. Maybe your person got rejected by this other person and now they're coming toward you to work on something. The nine of wands is telling me that, again, there could have been some challenges between you guys could have been some back and forth um fighting at one point but i do feel at the end of the day we do got the knight of wands they wanted to fight wanting to overcome not wanting to fight fight but overcome something have a new beginning here with you the full aries energy so your person wants you to take a leap of faith okay on them they want you to they want they want to move forward okay and this is again a very i'm getting a very young energy they may not be thinking about um, everything that they've done in the past, the consequences of their actions. Okay, this is someone who'd be very immature and don't really think much about things before and until it's done, until the damage is done. Um, but I, I do see your person doesn't want to close the cycle out, the Ten of Wands in reverse. They're certainly wanting to pick up the pieces, have another opportunity. The Four of Wands is telling me there is definitely was a soul connection at one point, but I feel like there was a lot of imbalances and this imbalance has caused burdens here on your part, Taurus, okay? Some of you guys were connecting with a Libra, um, but there definitely was a situation here where you may have felt like you were putting in, again, a lot of effort, fully invested, um, and this person wasn't really being fair, okay? There could have been... Um, I do feel like there could have been another family situation. Maybe this person had another whole, whew, a whole nother family or another relationship elsewhere. If that's not the case, I just feel like there were just imbalances. It was a lack of uh, reciprocity or equal give and take here in the past. Now, the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus. Yeah, you guys are questioning if you can really build again with this person. We got the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. So some of you guys are going back and forth if that's even possible. Now, your person is the Ace of Wands, wanting a new fresh start, a new beginning. The Hermit, Virgo energy. So they've been doing some thinking, Taurus. They've been doing a lot of thinking about you. And ultimately, this is someone who feels like, you know, I don't know if, if I could be patient anymore. I, I want to move toward Taurus now. So I do feel with the Temperance in reverse, this is someone who's lost their patience. They've been doing some thinking. They've been hibernating. They've been going within, right? They've been taking their time, resting. But now they do want this beginning. They do want a fresh start. And now it's like now or never is what I'm seeing. So the death is telling me there could be some kind of big change coming in when you least expect it, Taurus. We do got the judgment. 
Okay, so that's all about change. The judgment and the death card. Talk about change. Your person wants to make a final decision, the right decision now to finally um, honor the connection, um, move this forward, right? The death is finally like, you know, getting something up off the ground, changing transformation of some sort. Um, and let's see the 10 of swords after a betrayal or I don't know, something's telling me that Taurus, you could be still looking at the situation as an ending, with this Ten of Swords. I feel like this person has a lot of work to do. Yeah, that could be your energy, Taurus, that's you, Four Pentacles. Some of you guys are holding back. Some of you guys are not budging. Some of you guys are just not interested. All right? The Four Pentacles tell me you're protecting your heart space. You're protecting your emotions. You're not really wanting to open up and give to this person because of the betrayal or the hurt that you're still experiencing. But I do feel like you guys will entertain a conversation. We do got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. There's some kind of communication and truth about a situation here. Um, yeah, after a period of no communication. Some of you guys want to know well, why did this person ghost you? Why did they stop reaching out? Why did they act like they didn't care? Why did they leave you out in the cold? Five of Pentacles. Why they never reached out? Why, why they just neglected you? Why did they abandon you the way? And some of you guys are asking this person that. Okay, because again, this is someone who just very impulsive. They kind of just do whatever they want, whenever they want. Very selfish. Um, and you, some of you guys, you want answers. So you will be getting some kind of communication from this person is what I'm seeing in February. All right, so Taurus, that's what I have for you. I hope this resonated for you. I won't be extending this reading this time. But my next reading in a few days, I will extend it in um, onto Vimeo and look at the energy of you and your person in February. But I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you want a personal love reading, check me out. Check my Etsy shop out. Instagram, follow me if you choose. All right, take care. <laughs>